Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes for a moment. You are relaxed. You are calm. Focus on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Couple more breaths here. And we're gonna slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale in. So deep, deep inhale to your nose and deep, deep exhale to your nose. Whenever one breath. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Stretch the back. Exhale down. Hands on the thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching on the neck next. Here to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Couple more breaths. And we're gonna slowly, slowly bring the head back to the center. Take an inhale first, exhale, we go to the other side. Here to show the extent the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, the center, exhale, we're going to turn over look the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Take a breath first, chin up, head back. And then chin to chest. Both ways we're stimulating thyroid gland. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, we're gonna look at the right arm, we're slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly come back to center. Now we're going to look at the other arm. Okay, slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle. Looking down. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. We're going to look at the back of the corner. Off the ceiling. Chin up. Looking up. Slowly release. Take a breath in the center. And then and there we're going to look at the other corner. Off the ceiling. Now you don't have to arch the neck back, just chin up, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Take a breath here. And then we're going to go into a neck circle, half circle, nice and slow. Don't swing your head. Don't make yourself dizzy. If you prefer not to do neck circle, no problem. Do not injure the soft tissues of your neck. And when you're ready, we're going to go into a full circle, clockwise direction. Nice and slow, with control. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. When you're in the center position, we're going to go the other way. Half circle first. Don't swing the head. Be mindful for those who have neck issues, injuries, and so on. Now when you're ready, we're gonna go counterclockwise, full circle. Relieve any tension that you may have in the neck area. When you're in the center position, you can release, taking a few calming breaths, slowly open up the eyes. Make sure you're not busy. And then we're going to go and do so with the stretch. Right arm up and across. Pull back. Creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Pull back. Slowly, slowly release. Same arm up. We lay them first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. 
itchiness and a stiffness in your shoulder area, just be more mindful. Slowly, slowly release, shake it up. In a side, shoulder stretch first. Arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up. We lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Try to bring the elbows to the back of your head. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. And don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly, slowly, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, I would say now, so inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades, opening up on the heart chest, improving your posture. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow close together. Continue to oil the shoulder joints. When you're in the center position, you can go the other way, reverse. Try to bring the elbows close together. Continue to oil the shoulder joints. Slowly, slowly release. Inhale the arms up the length of the spine. Exhale with a bend towards the right side, bend the lower arm. Top arm is aggressive move. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Feel the length in the side of the body. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture points. Slowly come back to center to length of the spine. Exhale with a bend towards the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm, press and move. Stretch the internal organs as well. Chin is away from the body, eyes and feet up. Inhale, center to lengthen. Get ready to twist. Give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Wrap the back arm around the waist. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale to turn. Turning the neck as well. Every exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. Slowly come back to center to lay the spine. Exhale, we're going to turn. Give yourself a hug. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder, wrap the back arm around the waist. Inhale to be there. Exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest the detox. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center the leg, the spine, exhale, twist. This time, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Bring the back hand behind your spine or wrap around your waist. Don't lean back too much. Inhale to get there, exhale to turn. Turning the neck as well. So all twisted position, whether it's seated, lying down or standing, will hopefully stretch out the lower back muscles, massage your internal organs, helping you to release constipation and back pain. Now we're gonna slowly bring the body back to center, don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite mind. The other arm up and over, bring it directly in like your spine. We're going to inhale to prepare, exhale to turn. Turning the neck as well. See if you can turn a little bit more with the help of the front hand. And also your exhale breath. Staying here for three, two, and one, slowly bring the body to the center. Don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. 
when you come to Tulsa Church, shoulder roll, starting out a small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper Tulsa turn, moving your shoulders. The head remains stationary, warming up the spine, so don't pull a back muscle. When you're in the sun position, we can go the other way, reverse. Hitting off from one of your space. A big toss and turn. Shoulder roll. Once again, don't make yourself dizzy. Covering all four corners of your space. Now when you slowly come back to center to release, inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, out of soft mat. Shoulders are relaxed. Now your spine in one straight line, chin is away from the body. So we're not dropping the head or rounding the back. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath here. We're going to slowly walk the hands over to the right side as far as you can go. Feel the leg in the side of your body. Slowly walking the hands over to the other side as far as you can go. Feel the stretch in the side of your body. Slowly, slowly walking the hands back towards you. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top on the feet, on the mat. Neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale. Drop your belly. Chin up the butt. Into a cow. Exhale. Round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight. Looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. And your own breath. And your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between water rains. Can and also help you with relief back pain. So we're going to inhale one way. Exhale the other. Two more times. Arms and legs remain stationary. Only move your spine. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral spine, swaying side to side, relieve tension in your wrist. We're gonna take an inhale, send an exhale, turn over to right shoulder. Squeeze the shoulder and hip together, let the left hip drop. Inhale, center. Exhale to the other side, forming a C-shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Slowly, slowly come back to center, sway side to side. Release tension in your wrist. Coming into bird dog, arm balance, right arm and left leg out. Right thumb to the sky, back to a step. One straight line. Leg is long, spine is straight. Engage your core abdominal muscles, which means squeeze your stomach in tight. Couple more breath here. And slowly, slowly release. Swaying side to side. Release tension in your wrist. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Bird dog, left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky, back to a step. Core strong. Reach and stretch. Squeeze your stomach in. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. We're going to thread the needle. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Slide through the opening. Dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrap around your waist. Now beginning can stay here. Those who want to put more body weight on the right shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like. So don't worry about raising the back leg. You can come on your toes. 
All the body weight is on the right shoulder. Both hips are level. Grabbing their weights in the head on it. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. Front the needle. Inhale the left arm. Exhale, slide through the open, dropping the left shoulder there. Right arm can be on for the boot or wrap around your waist. Now you can stay here. If you want to put more body weight on the left shoulder, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg. You can have toe there. Be mindful for those who have shoulder, knee issues. And we will stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Using the right hand to push yourself up. Swing side to side. We're going to slowly transition to come lie down on your stomach. Fall back, extension. Hands by your chest. When you press on the top of the feet, kneecaps automatically comes on. Forehead down. When you're ready, lifting the head chest up, hands up, kneecaps up, not arching the neck back, looking down to protect your neck. All the lying down on the stomach poses will hopefully strengthen lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Two more breaths. And we're going to slowly and gently release everything there. Extend your arms forward. We're going to come to a superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. When you're ready, lifting the head, chest up, arms up, leg and thigh off if you can. Reach into opposite direction. Five breath, looking down. If you can only do the arm, or if you can only do the leg, just do one, not both, your choice. You can always adjust, modify, adapt to suit your body type, your level, and your ability. Now we're gonna slowly and gently release everything there. Swing your arm behind you, we're gonna come to a locus. Interlace the finger. Pull the knuckles away from you. When you're ready, lifting the hand chest up, take your thigh off, looking down. Staying here for five breaths. If you cannot interlace the finger behind your back, modification, arm by your side, not touching your body. So your choice, pick a level that you want to work on today to challenge yourself. Now we're going to slowly and gently Release everything down. Coming into a crocodile. Arms up, shoulder height. T position, palm facing down. Left cheek on the mat. Bending the right knee. Draw it close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch on the left side of the neck and opening up the right hip. Just relax, melt yourself into the mat, stretching out the neck, opening up the hip joint. One more breath here, we're gonna slowly release, bring everything back to the mat. Next time you work on heart, bend your knees, we're gonna reach your wiper. Stack your hands on top of each other. You can either have forehead down or chin down. Swing your legs side to side, windshield wiper. Feel the slight movement in your lower back, your butt moving side to side. So hopefully all these poses lying down in your stomach will help you to strengthen lower back muscles to support your spine.
couple more breaths here. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Coming into a bow, BOW. Grab a hold one ankle, hold back. Modification, opposite arm, opposite ankle. If you can grab a hold both ankles, knees together, don't open up too much. Bottom of your feet towards the sky. Lifting the hand, chest up, thigh off if you can. So those who are doing modification, after a couple of breaths, switch side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. If you want to rock, rock, massage your internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. If you have eaten a full meal, and if you don't feel like rocking side to side, no problem. Now we really slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Coming into a seat, spread out your fingers, align the elbows with the shoulders so we're not sticking the elbow. Legs apart as wide as the mat. Come up on your forearm. Shoulders are relaxed. Looking forward. Now you can stay here. If you want to push yourself up to the hand level, go ahead. Make sure you're not putting a lot of pressure on your lower back. So we're not squeezing your shoulder up. If this is too intense for you, Lower down on your forearms so your choice. One more breath, and we're going to slowly and gently release everything down. Once you come all the way down, we're going to go proper down the other side. So arms are in key, shoulder height, right cheek on your mat, legs are already met with a part. Bending the left knee, draw it closer to the left elbow, make yourself completely flat as we stretch out the side of your neck and opening up the hip joint. Melt yourself into the mat. One more breath, and we're going to slowly and gently release, bring everything back to the mat. To counter back extension, we're going to go into an active child pose. So pushing yourself up, knees apart, as wide as the mat, big toes to touch, sending the hip down onto the heels, walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders are relaxed, forehead down. If you have a very tight ankle or hip joint, if you're not able to sit on your hips, you can rest your forehead on stack hands, stack fists, or on your block. So try to sit back as much as you can is more important than to lower the forehead down. We're massaging internal organs, opening up the hip joint, ankle joint, lengthening the spine, stretching out the back, Massaging the third eye, calming your mind for a moment. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Getting ready to stand up. So meet you in down dog. Spread all your fingers. Tap your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Pushing the mat away. Upside down, let it be. We're going to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Mountain climbing. Bicycling. Relieve any tension that you may have. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back there. Again, inhale up, up, up on your toes. Exhale to lower the heel back there. 
Three more times. Inhale, up on toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale, down. Inhale, up on toes. Exhale, down. One last one. Inhale, up, up, up on your toes. Exhale, down. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now you're in the forward bend. Four, ten toes facing the front, legs are hip width. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite arms or behind the legs. Hip bones about that, ankle bones. Dangle here for a moment. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back. So active forward bend is also a good one to do to relieve back pain as we stretch out the back muscle. Staying here for three, two, and one. Getting ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, to slowly, slowly walk one at a the time. Rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you come all the way up, we're going to go back, bend to counter. So interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Shine chest up to the ceiling. Chin up, head back. Shoulders on top of hips. We are not pushing the stomach forward. Feel the pinching shoulder blades. Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity. Improving your posture. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into a standing position, soft knees, you don't have to lock the knees. Or 10 toes facing front, legs on your foot. Inhale your arms up above the head, lengthening the spine. Exhale, we bend towards the right side. Outside hand, well, hold the inside wrist, chin is away from the body, thighs looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Not pushing the hip forward or back, shoulders on top of hips. Now we're going to inhale center, lengthening the spine. Exhale, we go to the other side. Outside hand, bubble with the inside wrist, chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Feel the link in the side of your body. Inhale, center, tall, long, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm, top arm suppressing you. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Shoulders and hips are level. See if you can bend a little bit more. Now we're going to slowly come back up to lengthen the spine. Next, how to the other side. Release the bottom up. Top arm suppressing you. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Slowly, slowly come back up to lengthen the spine. And then I'm down by your side. Shake it out. Coming into sun salutation. So top of the back, big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of the mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale, your arms up. Palm touch. Back bend. Exhale. Hinging from the hips. Leading with the chest. Forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Hands on shin. Eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on that, step on back into a plank, shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tuck your elbow by your side to be there. Immediately slide up to cobra for beginners or up dog. Shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Middle index finger facing forward. Step in your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Beady part of your palm, the bridge of your hands, as well as all 10 fingertips on the mat. Eyes are looking at the toes. Now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up the flat back. Exhale, fold bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. 
into mountain pose. Continue. Inhale your arms up, opposite, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up your flat mat. Exhale, hands on mat, step a half mat into a plank. Shifting the weight forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Immediately slide up to up dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming into a down dog. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Feel free to have a slight bend in your knees if you have tight hamstrings. Coming into warrior one on the right side. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Pivot the left foot to 45 degree. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding on to your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relaxed, arms on the knees. Eyes open up. Front knees 90 degree on top of the ankle between second and third toe. We're going to open up into a warrior two. Widen your stand. Bring your hands to heart center. Arms so in T. Palm facing down. Do not lean forward. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Turn and look at the front fingers. Coming into extended side angle. Right elbow resting on right thigh. Left arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the top hand, look in the top thumb. Now putting hold our weight on the front thigh. Slowly we move the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top arm facing down. Lengthening the left side of the body. Keeping the body up and open. Slowly we move the top arm over to form one straight line. Now we just slowly, slowly release. Coming into reverse warrior. Slipping the right arm up. Left hand down the left thigh. Top arm pressing. Looking up. This is a side bend. So you should feel the stretch in the right side of the arm. Slowly, slowly release. Try angle. Shorten your stand. Swing the hip out. As soon as you swing the hip out, all like a straight. Arm so teeth. Shift to the front. When you can't go anymore, wave melt the arms. Bottom hand, six o'clock. Top hand, 12 o'clock. Shoulder stack on top of each other. You can slide the bottom hand up and down to find a point you can stack the shoulder on top of each other. Do not lean down. Keeping the body up and open. If you can straighten out the front leg, Lock the front knee. Now slowly, slowly rise up. Coming into goddess. So pivot your feet. Use the length of the mat. Legs about three feet apart. Toes up, onada out. Hands up by your chest. Breathe inhale up. Exhale, sink. Slightly tuck the tables in. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. We're going to repeat everything on the other side. So we're going to pivot the feet. So we're leaning with the left leg forward, right leg back. Front knee slightly between the top leg. Don't exceed the angle. Back foot is at 45 degree angle. Heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Square the hip turn around. Hands up, holding on to your ball. Palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relaxed down from the hips, eyes open up.
One more breath here. We're going to open up into a warrior two. So widen your stand if you can. Bring your hands to heart center. As soon as you open up, arms are parallel to the floor. Once again, do not lean forward. Easily distribute your weight between the two legs. Strong arms. Turn a little bit of front fingers. Extend the cycle. Left elbow rest in the left thigh. Right arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the top hand. Look at the top thigh. Not putting hold on weight on the front thigh. Keeping the body up and open. Now we can slowly bring the top arm over to form one straight line. Form the big finger to the back of the top arm facing down. Lengthening the right side of your arm. Just one more round. Slowly release, coming into reverse warrior, flipping the left arm. Right hand down over right thigh. So in between poses, you can straighten out the legs if you're getting tired. Now, this is not a back bend, it's a side bend. So you should feel the strength in this side of the body. Reverse warrior. Slowly, slowly release. We're going to come to triangle. So shorten your stand. Swing the hip up. So as soon as you swing the hip up, both legs are straight. Now so in T. Shift to the front. And you can't go anywhere. Windmill arms. Bottom hand six of palm. Top hand drop palm. So a lot of common error. People try to round down or get as slow as possible and they end up rounding down. So it's okay to slide the bottom hand a little bit higher up. So you can keep the body up and open. If you were to do this pose by the wall, all body parts touching the wall. Now we slowly, slowly rise up. We're going to use the length of our mat. Keep the legs open. Now this time, toes are pronated in like pigeon toes. We're going to get ready for a wide leg forward bend. So hands on weights for support. Take an inhale first. Exhale. Hinging from the hips. Leading with the chest. Forward bend. Bring the hands down on the mat, lining up with the fingers and the toes. So we're not reaching forward. Release the head down, bending the elbows towards the back. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold. Just be mindful that head is below heart again. So if you don't feel good about this, you can slowly come out of it. One more breath. And we're we'll get ready to come up. Hands are waist for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly one vertebrae at a time. Rise up to standing. Once you come all the way up, Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. Shake it out. So we're back into a mountain pose. Our 10 toes facing in front, legs are here with soft knees, the walking knees. Arm by your side, palm facing forward. Close your eyes for a moment, slowing down the heartbeat. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Look at tight, tight, tight. Ah, oh, sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension in the body. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale your shoulders up. Ah, one last one. Inhale your shoulders up. Sign it out. We're going to slowly come sit down and we're going to continue with seated. If you need water, have a sip of water, stay hydrated. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting pose. Fly a little bit of fly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joints. Draw the heel close to you. 
grandmother back to the entire feet. Inhaling, exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Inhale, prepare. Exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly, come back up. I'm going to work the shoulder wide grip, bend both knees. This is hip work, hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're going to drop the knee from one side to the other side. Let it fall where we're fall. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up, hip release. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both feet to the right side, forming at 90, 90 degrees. Don't lift the butt up, make sure the hips stay down. You're going to feel the stretch here. Quarter side hip joint, don't get that opposite side. A little bit of discomfort. Stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Wish you went for a few more times. Hip release. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both feet to the other side. So we're forming a 90, 90 degree. You can adjust the angle to suit your knees. Now don't lift the butt up, but stay down. The stretch is here, put your sub hip joint. Adjust the angle to suit your knees. Looking at the opposite side, and we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back up. Shall I for a few more times? Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, point the toes up to the ceiling, get the flesh cut out from your butt, hands by your side. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. And when you're ready, we're going to go into a double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, grow longer. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond your feet, holding on to any part of the feet. The legs will release the hands on either side. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Not dropping the head or rounding the back. When you come down, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath and slowly, slowly come back up. Come into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. Body start directly on top of the straight leg. Holding on to any other foot. The legs will release the hands on either side. Feel free to use your yoga strap to help you get into the alignment. You're not yanking yourself down, so we're going to inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest. We're not doing head to knee. The entire unit has to come down. So just relax, staying here. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back, opening up the hip joint, stretching the hamstring. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into a seated twist, bring the band leg on the outside of the straight leg. So we're going to stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. So on this side, the modification. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. 
front arm can be stop sign and prayer as any variation. Inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. And we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, count the toes. Bending now is more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. One more round and then slowly, slowly release, pushing us out back up. Let's check it out. Now we're going to repeat one leg forward bend on the other side. Get the flesh cut out from your butt, point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale is the movement. Engine from the hips, leading with the chest. Pressing your hands beyond your foot, holding out there in front of the foot, the legs, so release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath here, slowly, slowly release. Coming into see the twist, bring the landing on the outside of the straight leg. So beginning, you can stay here, opposite arm, opposite leg. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead, both butts down, both feet on the ground. So opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you, set up tall. The other arm, over the foot, bring it around, you can your smile. Front arm can be a stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation. Inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest the detox. Stay here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, tap to twist. Bending now, we'll small room to come down as we stretch our lower back. And you should feel the strap in the side of the body. Oblique. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Strain out the legs. Bounce in a few times. Now we will get ready to come lie down on your mat for reclining poses. So if you need to have water, take water first before you lie down. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the neck to curve from the lower back, and by the side, all facing down. Close your eyes for a little bit. Taking a few calming breaths. Change the chest to protect your neck. Now, keeping the natural curve, so when you put the first joint of your finger underneath your spine, underneath your back, you should be able to get through, but not to say that the entire hand passes through. Take a couple of calming breaths, and then we're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So knees are bent, two fists apart. Don't open up too much. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hip high, high up, forming a bridge. Now, feel your spine. We're not lifting, pushing the stomach up. It's only the chest up. So your spine should be straight. Engage your core abdominal muscles, your quadricep and your glutes are firm. So in another words, squeeze your stomach in tight, your thighs and your butt should be firm, but not to the point of cramping. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge, interlace the fingers, pull the knuckles towards the hips, all the ways in the shoulder, rather the weight in the neck or your head. Continue to shine your chest up to the ceiling. Stimulating thighs and glen because change the chest. 
and we're going to stay here for three, two, and one. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. One vertebrae at a time, release the spine back down. Once you come all the way down, wish your wife a few more times. Hip release, hip open up. Slowly, slowly come back to center, straighten up the legs, bounce up a few times. We're going to come to wind, releasing on the right side, wrap the hands around the right knee, draw it closer to the chest or armpits, give it a good squeeze, inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the right side as well as the center core. So anytime you feel bloated or constipated, you can try wind releasing and see if it is going to help you. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse, massaging the right hip joint. Slowly come back to center, and we're going to transition to a spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh, using your left hand, which is the opposite hand. Slowly guide the top knee as close and far as possible. Hips automatically comes off, turn over the right side in that step. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong. So right arm can be up, shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn it over the right side. One more breath here. We're going to slowly and gently bring everything back to the center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Now we repeat weight releasing on the left side. So point the right toes up to the ceiling, wrap your arms around the left knee. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as the sending cord. So anytime you've loaded or constipated, you can try with releasing either lying down on your mat or in bed, or you can also do this sitting down. Now we transition to spinal twist, so left arm, right thigh. You see the right hand, which is the opposite hand, slowly guide the top knee as close to the forward as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg, left arm out, shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down, doesn't matter. You can try it and see which one you prefer. Turn over the left side, and then again. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side. Coming into big circular motion if you like, covering the big area. Massage your lower back and sacrum. Change direction, go the other way. Make big circular motion. Slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy day. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. In the arch, outer arch, you can also hold on to the big toes or any part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits, rocking side to side. Thank you. 
slowly, slowly come back to centre, bring your legs together, flex the feet. And then when your side palm facing down, stretching our hamstrings, let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Once you have good blood circulation, you may improve your overall wellness, energize the body, increase your immunity level, improve your digestion and sleep quality. Sliding the head further up the leg or grab a hold of the big toes, lifting the head chest up, elbows automatically comes up. Continue to stretch hamstring, not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Now we slowly release the head down and down with the side. Doing three rounds of leg lift. First round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it, bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it, bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up to the sky. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, all the way down, bounce it a few times. Bring your sole of your feet together, let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. Bang, angle pose. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Like gravity does its job to open up the hip joints. Slowing down the heartbeat. And we're going to get ready for shock faster. Final relaxation so you can have the legs apart as far as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally, arms are six to eight inches away from the body. Turning the palm up to face the seat. Have a slight curve in your palm. So in your fingers, like you're squeezing something soft, like tofu. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax the jaws. Suffer your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, anxiety, tension. Just stay here and be relaxed. Belt yourself into the mat, focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise, take a view. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to the spine. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Now we're going to slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Gently turning your neck left and right while you're doing wrist and ankle stretch. Bring your legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale and that way your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head, point your toes, elongate the body. Big, big stretch. Exhale, and that big side. Bend both knees, raise your right arm, roll over to the right side of the body. Coming into a fetus position. 
Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.